guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about Sumerian fashion. I've also created this makeup look inspired by the Sumerians. But first of all, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Sumer civilization. Sumer is one of the earliest civilizations dating back to around 4500 BC to 1900 BC and the people who lived there were called the Sumerians. Sumer was located in southern Mesopotamia which is now southern Iraq. Starting around 4500 BC this early population is known for its development of civilization in farming, textiles, carpentry and pottery. They built villages and towns and in its peak around 2800 BC the population had around 40,000 to 80,000 people making it perhaps once the largest city in the world. Homes were made of mud bricks or bundled marsh reeds and the buildings are noted for their arched doorways and flat roofs. Sumerian language is the oldest in the world, with proof of writing found in today's Iraq dating back to at least 3500 BC. They were skilled at engineering, architecture and maths. Actually our 60 minutes in an hour and 60 seconds in a minute is credited to the Sumerians. The Sumerian civilization collapsed with the evasion of the Amorite states before the rise of Babylonia. Now I'm going to be talking about Sumerian fashion. In sculptures and mosaics of the period, we see people wearing this tufted fabric, and I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce this word, but they are called kaunakes, kaunakes. They were named by the Greeks, and no one really knows what it was made of. Historians have debated that this was made of cloth, or even leaves, petals or feathers because of the scalloped details on the clothing. Men wore this wrapped around them up to the chest and women over one shoulder and under the other. Sumerians also wore a lot of jewellery made of gold and bronze for fashion and to show status. Men wore earrings, necklaces, armlets, bracelets and headbands Women wore golden headdresses to form foliage and flowers, large earrings and necklaces, chokers and rings. For hair, men were either shaved bald or wore their hair and beards waved. We can see statues of men with these crinkly beards. Women wore their hair up, braided in a large bun. I'm just going to show you the outfit I'm wearing today for this Sumerian inspired look. It actually is an off the shoulder, it's not an off the shoulder dress, it actually has two sleeves. I just <laughs> styled it like this for this video because of the way the female Sumerians wore their um, dresses, outfit. I found this dress online under the website Shein and as soon as I saw the dress I thought it looked very similar to how I imagined Sumerian dresses to look like. I love how the dress appears to have these layers. Also it's got this tassel detail on it that I think looks a lot like feathers. It's not the kind of dress I would initially pick out myself but I just thought it was perfect for this Sumerian look and it's really different. I think I'll get a lot of use out of this dress for different time periods. I also think in an unusual way it kind of reminds me of a Georgian style dress as well. Now I'm going to show you how I got this makeup look inspired by the Sumerians. Makeup in ancient Sumeria was very similar to that of ancient Egyptian makeup, so I'm first applying my Egyptian Miracle Rescue Cream. I'm using this as a moisturiser. Salves and oils were used to protect the skin in ancient Sumeria, and hair dyes were created from leek and cassia. They even wore perfume made from soaked plants with water and oil. I'm now darkening my brows with some black eyeshadow. I see that on a lot of the Sumerian statues, the eyebrows are connected, but I decided not to do that for this look. Now using my Alice in Wonderland palette from Urban Decay, I'm taking the blue shade Bandersnatch and applying this over my lids. 
Makeup has been found held in seashells containing red, white, yellow, blue, green and black pigments. The pigments were lightened with the addition of burnt animal bone. I'm now taking the shade Metamorphous, this lighter blue colour, and I'm applying this over the top of that darker blue. Going back to that darker blue shade, I'm running this along my lower lash line. Now taking a black eyeshadow, I'm running this along my upper lash line. Just like in ancient Egypt, coal was used as an eye protector, and we see on Sumerian statues that they have a bold black line around their eyes like eyeliner. And using this black eye pencil, I'm applying this along my lower lash line. For the lips, I'm using Trans Europe Express from NARS. What I also thought was interesting about Sumerian beauty was they used crushed jewels to decorate their face and eyes, so they appear to really like their makeup and wanted to look good. And that completes this makeup look inspired by the Sumerians. Thank you very much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!